to assassinate one's character. To assassinate one's character while they're leading their way to a path, while they're guiding themselves to themselves. To actually go impromptu, of course you need to contrive something. You need to go to a particular area, a foundation of why you actually create what you create in this particular time, 2024, November the 1st. Many things happen all around this spherical ship we call planet Earth. I'm a poet playwright. I'm a stream of consciousness novelist. Keeping my sanity, fasting, trying to be sane. As I said in the previous poetry about five years while driving a taxi. Oh, maximize the place. Maximus, Maximus, Maximus. Ah, there we are, there we are. Sometimes you have to infiltrate and see where the actual people of genuine truth lie where their fragility sometimes might ascend and descend and become more of what it should be. Sometimes you look to the right, you look to the left, you say, I'll see you later, I'll see you, I'll see you someday. But you have to affect, deflect, inflect the right, intona the right, in the right intonation. You nearly think I was inebriated sometimes. But that's an aeroplane in the sky, and sometimes you have to speak high, high with different intonations, and say, how long will they do this on me? Oh Lord, I wasn't baptized, how long? This dogmatic evil, how long does it last while I fast, while I just surge through, purge, purge, purge? Did you ever see, did you ever see, did you ever see what it's like when you defend the wrong people? To defy and define what it is to be within this human condition and say, are we humane? Is this the human condition? What is the human being after all? You know your sensations. You know what it is to be alive. This is projecting genuine passion. While they sedate and say you might be late. And close the gate, close the gate while you unlock the doors of your own perception. But I'll give a smile. Elastic sometimes. Neuroplasticity, well it happens as a child while you're mild smiling. Just contemplating your navel. The most introspective, profound aspect of your humanity that you can pronounce. How to pronounce a word sometimes incorrectly, autodidactly, autodidactic, you know it correctly. How do I do it while you're in a corner? How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you scratch the surface to know what you are worth? Not me. I've revealed so much of my humanity. Now let's see yours. Let's see yours. If you work in the arts, entertainment, if you work in poetry, if you work for your vanity while you paint someone else and say, I'm so selfless. Let's see your virtue. Let's see your sanctuary of your sanity. Let us not pretend that vanity rules. I don't need to keep going with my poetry, what I've written in the sonnets. I don't want to be argumentative. I just want to pronounce and walk. Talk the way I did as a child. Talk the way I did as a kid. But I don't look, but I don't look, I don't look, I don't look, I don't look the way you thought. I don't look like that at all. You catch yourself in an essence. A sensual being. Then you loosen up a bit, loosen up a bit, loosen up a bit. It's just a character in my stream of consciousness poem. 
loosen up a bit, quieten down, shh. less is more, less is more, less is more, ah, let's go to India, let's find something, let's find sanctuary there. My features define me. They let you know me. Sukati kala sika sika do ko se la canta. Canto se kala kon de sila. Katsota kapa kala kina sika no ko la pakanina. A canto. You could call this a C A N T O. A stream of consciousness poem within a book. How you mistook me. Once again. Too late to reply now. But never too late for me to stop 